They have been rejected by their mothers and fathers. Now, they have been abandoned by the only country they have ever considered home and will have to jump through so many hoops and hurdles to merely be allowed to stay. In other words, their whole identity is at stake. They are set aside from their peers in every possible way. At every turn, their future here is insecure. For the better half of the decade to come, not only will these children have to deal with administrative and financial hurdles, but they will have to perform, plan, and build their future while dealing with the distress and anxiety this situation will cause them. This lengthy and difficult process highly compromises these innocent children's well-being. They feel betrayed by this country. They wonder what they have done wrong to be punished this way. They all came to Canada a few weeks after being born. Decisions were not made by them. Why should they suffer and be entered into an administrative nightmare with all the associated consequences when they have done no wrong? Do they deserve to suffer the consequences of decisions taken by adults? Were they not of an, innocent, of an innocent age to decide to come to Canada in the first place? These kids didn't ask for any of that. These children did not ask to be made stateless. Thank you for your attention. More of a statement, Barack Obama, you would never guess that the United States could be considered 